All right, can you walk us through the uh, the goal line sequence there? Three quarterback sneaks. I guess what kind of pride do you take in, in that moment to be able to help Jordan get in for the score? Yeah, so a lot, a lot of my teammates and a lot of my coaches consider the uh, victory formation to be the greatest play in football. Um, I'm not of that opinion. I firmly believe that the uh, the flying V, the goal line wedge, um, QB sneak is the greatest play in football. Um, so again, when, when we heard that that play was going to be run, we knew it would be run for another three downs if necessary. At that point, we knew we had to score, we knew we had to, we had, we had to convert. Um, I had full confidence in our coach's ability, Jordan Travis, and everyone else on the line of scrimmage. Um, so again, that was a great moment, probably one of the best moments in my college career so far, and uh, again, best play in football. Well, no, sir, I'm blindly blocking. I'm uh, trying to remove my guy from his gap and put him 10 yards in the backfield. Um, I have no idea where the quarterback's going to go, but I hope that I can make a uh, big enough hole for him to go through. Do you know when, when Jordan scores? Is he on top of you in, in that massive humanity? I was still driving people. I um, was still getting after it. I had no clue he scored until I rolled over and saw him on my lap. Um, but uh, again, it was an absolutely awesome experience. Uh, if you walk to the Doe Camp right now, you can still see the cleat marks in the grass. Um, so again, I'm, uh, I'm very excited about that experience, but uh, moving forward to Boston College. Um, again, we're going to have a great week this week, too, just building good on good. They like to throw, I can say they like to throw the number four. Number There's a couple of points they may receive. Line. And then, you know, Seems like it knows my like 23 in the game, that's mostly like that. They're throwing back. Like, yeah, Brit, Brit, or basically just run kind of grit, determination. Um, all the energy you have inside it. Um, our coaches last week stressed uh, the importance of uh, putting more effort, putting more uh, um, grit into the end of the game. Um, you see, we've, had, we've played a lot of really close games. And it's come down to a few plays, just like what happened the other night. Uh, and what we did as an offensive line is we reminded each other in that scenario um, to make ourselves proud when we watch the film the next day. Um, so again, just putting as much effort as we possibly could into that play. Um, in order to have the success we wanted to. What's that kind of you time mentioned time? the effort, right? the 4th and 14 play, you think, I think you see Robert Scott, the effort to push his guy past to help create that clean pocket. So Jordan go through progressions. Does that just speak to that effort and the progression this offensive line? Well, it really speaks to his development as a player um, and our development as an offensive line. See, one of the greatest compliments you could possibly give an offensive line is calling them situationally aware. Um, and that is just basically being aware in the moment, uh, whether it is that, that, that long fourth, fourth down or when we got down the goal line. Uh, just understanding the moment, understanding what needs to be accomplished, um, and again, just having self accountability. I try to look at it as another opportunity, you know, another opportunity to be around my teammates. I know we're very excited. Um, I've been to Boston before, played there. Um, it's going to be awesome to see some of the guys in here from Notre Dame. Phil, Phil Jakovic will be there. Uh, we're my old good buddies. Um, but at the end of the day, it's going to be a, another uh, great test. And uh, yes, we're excited as an offensive line to be able to uh, establish that line of scrimmage and uh, try to have the same success we had last week. Looking forward to a little bit cooler weather? Yeah, I am. Uh, it's going to be uh, a little bit, little bit colder down here, but uh, I don't think that factor should be involved in the storyline. Um, you see, we, we prepared every day um, just as if we're going to be playing the game. Um, guys, you hear practice having to wear their sleeves. They've been uh, kind of sucking it up, even though it's been about 50 degrees here most days. Um, again, it's not going to be much different down here in Tallahassee. It's going to be different as uh, a lot of work in Boston. In that same vein of situational football, do you have confidence as an offensive line on a last drive like that that if you do your job, do you have confidence in Jordan to make a play or just your offensive weapons to get it done? So all, all we know is that if we do our job, we'll have a better chance of getting it done. Um, it is up. It is a, a game of a, a whole team playing together, 11 guys, kind of seeing it through one set of eyes. Um, but at the end of the day, if these five guys in the line of scrimmage do their job, I would be in a lot better position than if we didn't. Why do you think you guys have had a lot of success in the red zone? The last I think it's a little bit easier to see the goal, right? Uh, the goal line's right there. Um, as an offensive line, as a quarterback, to all addition groups can kind of see what that goal is and what we need to do in order to accomplish that goal. Um, so again, I think having that visual reminder and being a little bit closer um, definitely helps out. It seems week to week, Dylan, they're from the outside, it seems like things are looking really good, and maybe you just step back and things are looking really good. Will, will anything the next two weeks affect the way you think this program is moving forward? No, sir. Um, I believe we're on track to, to do wonderful things. Um, under the guidance of Mike Norvell, um, how he's developed the culture and the, the grit and determination of our team over the past two years, um, I can't say enough good stuff about Mike Norvell. Um, but at the end of the day, it doesn't, doesn't really matter about these individual games. It's a, a whole trajectory of our team. And that trajectory is definitely upturning. And uh, I'm excited to see what happens over the, the rest of the season. I'm excited to put my best foot forward. Um, and again, try to be more of a vocal leader on the offensive line. 
and prepare us for those moments like we had last week. Um, but keeping in mind that I do have another year, and I'm very excited to uh, move forward with this team.